Hey, probably my last video of the day on this calling people, but this is um, Derek Kilmer, and I guess he met with some people in Seattle on how to promote, I don't know, business ventures with Israel in um, Washington State, which tells me he he's supposed to be a representative of where I live. He's a one of those uh, Zionist people, and so let's let it roll. His number is 202-225-5916. Hi, Adrian. I would like to know how uh, Derek Kilmer feels about what's going on between Israel and the Palestinians. back to you on that, but unfortunately I, I don't want to speak for Derek. I don't want to misrepresent his positions at all, and I want to make sure that the information you get is absolutely the most accurate possible. Um, is there any chance I could get your first and last name? Well, I'd actually rather not. I just know I saw him, I saw in 2013 he was saying building ties with um, Israel here in Seattle. He met with a lot of people here in Israel, and I'm from around the area where Israel had, um, you know, they bulldozed little uh, Rachel Corey to the ground. And actually, I'm I'm of an American Indian descent, and I think it's just pure genocide. And I'd like to, do you report things to him? Yeah, we can absolutely pass along a message. Well, this is what I look like. We know, and and you can dispute this all you want, but um, all you got to do is dig through a little rabbit hole that the United States Corporation, along with Israel and other people, support Hamas and Israel. Like, we send more money to Israel than we invest in the United States of America, and that's just becoming a little outrageous, and more and more people know about it. Um, I mean, you know, you can't hide things forever. Um, when genocide is genocide and they're still trying to say that little bitty rockets like the kind you could buy, I've looked at some of the rockets, it's literally some things you could buy at a local Indian reservation sent into Israel and then and then Israel sends back white phosphorus stuff. That is a complete war crime. That's, that's brutal. They should be sanctioned and we shouldn't send any more money. Now here's an analogy I'd like you to pass on to him. So, say a bank robber goes in and gets five hostages. Do we shoot, the, because everybody says that they're using humans as shields the, in Palestine, that's why the civilian casualty is so high. So, uh, the bank robber takes five hostages. Do in, Here in America, would we kill the five hostages to get to the bank robber? I mean, would we? You know, I'm not a police officer. I would hope not, but I can't, I can't speak to that. Um, and I, I, in your conscience, would you do that? It would depend on the circumstance, ma'am. Oh, wow. So he's a Zionist. Wow. You'd shoot through ho hostages? You would shoot hostages, oh innocent people, to get to a bank robber. That's all I needed to know. I realized yeah. right now... I hope I'm never in such a situation, and I certainly don't speak for Derek in his opinion on such things. I'm, I would be happy for him to get back to you. Sure. Will he call me personally? He can send you a letter. Well, I got his letters before, and it never covers my topic. If, if I say something about GMO foods, it, it, which I, we have wrote letters, and he says, we understand, uh, blah, 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 but if we put down the dangers that are in GMO foods, because we used to be organic farmers, he blows it off as his, as he almost represents Monsanto or whatever they're now changed their name to. So I know he doesn't read the letters because we, we, we just get the same. Actually, I posted a similar letter and, than my neighbor did. We both sent them. We both got the exact same copy back. So no one reads the letters. <laughs> it's just a blank block. You catch the keywords, and we put in the keywords, although it's different things. So the letter's not going to do no good. So now I realize that I have, you are my go-between between who's supposed to represent me, and yet 
they don't hear us because they just sent back their generic letters. And that's all I needed to hear. And now seeing, reading what he's doing with Israel and the Pacific Northwest, when he should have stood, stood up with that co-op in Olympia, Washington and said they can boycott whoever they want instead of all these court of appeals. Plus insisted on an apology from Israel for what they did to Rachel Corey. I'm just going to put him in the line with Patty Murray and Marie and Cantwell calling them Zionists, not giving a damn about the American citizens and how much taxpayer money goes to Israel when we've got problems here in America that could be handled but are not being handled because Israel, we are the United States of Israel and I'm not the only one that feels this way. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing around from uh, I, I would say 9 out of 10 people are speaking the same way I am. They just are afraid to speak out. I'm not. So you can pass that on. Thank you very much. I will absolutely pass that along. Thank you very much for calling in. Wow. Hey, he'd shoot through hostages. Huh? He would shoot through hostages to get... Wow. Okay. Derek Kilmer, Zionist. Peace, guys.